So I'm flying through my new base here, enjoying all the scenery, thinking about what my next project here might be. We did the Flaming Creeper Farm, and that was amazing. And then I find this, the Deed Swap Book. I have a sinking suspicion I know what this is about. It's been fun, but I think it's time for me to hand the tunes back over to you. <laughs> oh no, they're making me a little crazy. Time for me to return home. Here are your deeds. Oh, it, what? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, I mean, I didn't get nearly as much as I wanted to get done here, and I was just getting settled in, but... Let's face it, I need to be back with Toon Towers. So, uh, yeah, I, I hate to say it, but I don't think I'm gonna hesitate. Give me that, and I think I got a, uh, that's, that's like, that's my grain I owe you. Give me that, and we're gonna put this right, we're gonna put this right there. So long, a amazing base of amazingness that I didn't really get to know well enough. I'm gonna miss this place with, with the drones that I fly my face into every day. And of course, the Flaming Creeper Highway with some carts apparently are still empty. We are definitely gonna miss these fire burning creepers. I hope Falsy enjoys this thing. I, I still have yet to see her reaction to this. But I hope she enjoys it when she moves back in. It feels so, so good to be back at the towers. But I mean, obviously we've got problems here, right? We, we need to we need to defalsify the place a little bit. And then I want to start thinking about like what kind of pro... <gasps> Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Look at this guy! <gasps> Bury the platypus to match my Doofenshmirtz tower! Dooby dooby doo ba dooby dooby doo ba Perry! He's a semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal of action! Perry! <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, I got, got a little carried away there. Towers back where I belong. Now, False did a lot of other work, work here, which should not go unmentioned. All of the back landscaping back here has been cartoonified. She put all this down. It matches. It matches what I'm doing over in the front. If you guys remember, I did the like the the lime green concrete here. I don't do it to that island right there. But I got that. I got the trees. I got the bushes and everything with all the lighting. And she started it in the back and did a good share of it. And I actually put in some bushes and stuff. I got some more to do here. But that sounds like a good a good chatty chat live stream to be coming up here to finish this off. Because let's face it. I wasn't gonna do this without any uh, kick in the butt. And she added this amazing river here to just kind of draw a clear line between where my property starts and ends. A little cave here that you can fly right on through. We got the uh, the little tiki place over here, which I think I have a place in. Tonga Tonga. Now, I've got quite a few projects lined up for the Toon Towers base still that I want to get to, but they are not going to happen today because I want to head back over all the way to the Among Us project and show you guys some of the amazing progress we've been working on and talk about all the crazy stuff we're going to get done today. We're starting to see the light at the end of this tunnel. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen this in B-Dub's video, but B-Dub's did some work for me. And ladies and gentlemen, it is in typical B-Dub's fashion. It is amazing. He did the two most important rooms inside the keep. He did the blacksmith and the kitchen, and I'm going to show them to you now. They are absolutely mind-blowingly good. He's just so good. Except, no, that's not supposed to be there. Ignore that, ignore that. <laughs> this is the blacksmith here, and I love what he did. So, I gave him some specifications about how things need to be laid out, what kind of little stations I needed, and he just worked great with it. I had to move a couple of things, but overall, he did fantastic. We've got an iron drop-off area. So, one of the one of the tasks is going to be to go to the mines and get some iron and drop it off here. This is going to be go to the mines and get some coal, which we did last episode. We did the task to get the coal. You will drop that off here. All of these little stations need to be worked on a little bit more but the locations are fixed this is a dead body reporting station you guys know all about that i would imagine check this out look at this hold on hold on you gotta see this 
There's a samurai sword here. Look at how he did this samurai sword. The hilt, the blade is glowing, and they're inset in inside like a, a sword holder, which is two armor stands. In just come on, look at how good that is. That is absolutely bonkers. On the other side of the room, we've got a chain pickup area, a gold drop off area. More, this is like a super hammer. He used that on anvil as like the head of a, a hammer or something. And he's got this lava feature in here and everything. Just so much cool detail. There's a little, there's a little pass through here. You can see all the way through into the kitchen, which we'll show in a second. But I want to show you guys the, uh, the vents. We talked about the vents last episode. This is the vent system here. And now last time, if you remember, I said there was like this problem with the corners and I wasn't sure what to do. This is what we're doing. You guys had some amazing feedback and this is exactly what we're doing. I'm listening to you guys. Many of you said use trap doors, but even better than that, a couple of you said to use doors, which is even better because it's just one, one placement and it solves the whole thing now. So these doors here make it so that anyone in here can't see because right there you can see the edge of the door. Normally they'd be able to see right through there. Not anymore. The vents are perfect. And of course you can take this vent from the blacksmith very quickly over to the kitchen. Another amazing room. Just incredible detail everywhere here. We got like egg drop off areas. What else we got? We got to pick up bread. These again are for all tasks. I think a couple areas like right here I might need to make this a little bit wider. Uh, but just amazing. He's got a little cake bacon in the in the thing. There's a little log area here. So much fun little detail. You know we got a, we got a green head on the counter. Even a fish in the pot thing here. Also, also passing through the guardhouse, which we'll get to soon. I have finished off the farm. Did this in a couple of live streams. Super happy with how it turned out. Kept like gameplay. Oh, there's my brown box. I've been looking for this guy. This is my wooden box. Let me pick that up there. Hang on a second. <laughs> all right, the farm is done. All right, so this is just like a little, little like farmhouse barn kind of thing or something. I don't know what you want to call this. But in the back here, we've got a little, a little mini sugar cane farm. So one of the tasks, for instance, is going to be come back here and get, you know, you might have to get some sugar. You might have to get some paper for a different task. So you kind of just like press these buttons, press these little things here, press the thing. Sugar cane falls out. Hit the button here. Here, mine cart goes underneath, picks it up, and brings it up into, there you go, it's all dropping in right there. So, I like this little sugarcane farm for just, you know, another little task that's something a little bit more interesting than just picking it up from a barrel. We've also got a pumpkin farm here, which is going to be used for certain tasks. You're going to have to make pumpkin pie. Inside the house, there's going to be a task here to drop off some bones. And then over here, we've got, this is going to be an area where you can like grow some wheat. So you can like go to the forest and pick up some seeds, plant them here, hit the button here, bone meal does the pew 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 thing. And you know, the wheat grows up and you can like make a, a, a hay bale here and bring it over and feed the sheep. I also got a nice little vent here. So you can vent now from the farm down these vines here into the nether outbreak area here, which I love. Nice little secret area here. This one's got a little bit bigger entryway here because I wanted you to be able to sit in here and get a good visibility, like be able to look up there and see if anybody's coming down the path and stuff. So that's why we had to bust out a few more frames here and everything and add the glass there so you can see all the way down there. But overall, the vent system is coming along quite nicely. So what does all this mean? It means we're getting pretty close here. The blacksmith is done. The kitchen is done. The farm is done. The sheep pen here, not done, but it's going to be done by a certain someone very soon. The, uh, the, the chicken coop is done. The dungeon is done down below. The redstone lab is, it could be improved a little bit, but it's functional. The library in the back over there is done and everything outside is done. So basically we're like 80% done with the looks of the map now. So let's get on to some new stuff today that I'm pretty excited about. I want to head over into the lab here and I got the beginnings of some craziness going here. This is going to serve two purposes. It's going to be a task in itself. Hey zombie. Uh, and so it's like, like items are going to go up this like water column here, float over and down into this hopper and you have to like collect samples or something, I think. But it's also serving as a good line of sight blocker because this was a big room. So we're kind of splitting it up and I'm going to do some stuff in here so that you can't see through the glass as well. I think we're still working out the details, but first I want to get a new floor in here, a floor that's like laboratory like kablam super obnoxious laboratory floor is in black and white checkered is what I went with all throughout and we got our, our little divider here up and it, it's looking a little bit more laboratory like with the with the little bubble columns here that are totally just cosmetic they don't actually do anything but I feel like it looks laboratory and sciencey or something I don't know we'll see and there's 
actually a task in between here. So the, here's the, the bubble columns, like I said, just they don't, they don't do anything. They're just for looks, and the beacons are just for looks and everything like that. All that really matters is that button, this water column. You can see there's a, a dropper right there pointing up, and a water stream that goes over the bubble columns and then falls down here into this hopper here. So there's buttons on this end and on this end, and they both should do the same thing. It just releases an item out. The item floats up goes across and falls down and into mm-hmm mm -hmm. yep 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 needed a sign there needed a sign there <laughs> let's try it again here hit the button the thing floats up to the top goes over and now there should be yep there's a stone in there already so that's the task basically you you're gonna need to shoot uh, i'm gonna use ender pearls because you know their smaller stack size is gonna allow me to get a comparator read but i want you're basically gonna have to shoot six ender pearls into this hopper and when you do the task will finish i'm guessing like we'll put like a iron trap door like right there or something and that's where the you'll throw your book in to finish the task so let me get the redstone in no. And repeater on, um, yeah, four ticks. Yes, 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 yes. And I think, I think we're done. I think we're done there. And let's go up here and let's test it out now. Oh, wait, I got to put ender pearls in there. I need ender pearls. Ender pearls acquired. Let's test it and see if my redstone down below works. Let's go. One. Ender pearl up, over, and down. So we need to get six of these. And I, I was debating, like, trying to make this a lot more complicated. But in the end, I was like, let's just have them press the button a few times. That's three four five and it doesn't matter which side they use they could use this side over here as well so this should be the last one and oh hey it works tasks 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 more tasks i added one in the mine this is a very simple one but i like it it's called sift the gravel and i intentionally put it right next to the vent there if you know what i'm talking about there so we got this one here it's called sift the gravel the idea now is very simple very simple that piece of gravel needs to cross or temporarily be in front of that observer and the way you do it is you go pressy 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 and that's it. And the gate opens. You put your book in there and you're done. Takes you all of about four seconds. But the first time you come over here, you're going to be like, what? I don't. Oh, and then it pulls it back. I'm like, okay. And then I do what? And then and then it falls. And then, and then oh, oh, hey, got it. Right. So pretty easy task. But it's, you know, I wanted, I wanted some simple ones. And it's good, too, as the imposter comes out of the vent. They can easily just, like, pretend they're doing this one here and fake this task. Pretty good, I think. Moving along now, we're going to head over to the Yeti cave. We talked about this one in the past and ow, it hurts the face this one here i want to add a task in here who's growling who's growling is there people in my cave is there is there a guy back here who's he's very very close i don't know where he is anyways there's zombies in the cave I'm stuck. Anyway, we're going to set up a little snowball task here that I've got a good idea, like a sequencing, very time sensitive way of throwing snowballs at target blocks. Let's get some stuff set up here. So I just had an idea. I really want to get snow golem heads for this, uh, for this little like uh, game, a little task we're going to set up here. But I don't, I only got two of them. I got two snowman heads. I want to head over to the to the head shop or whatever it's called there and see if we got see if we can pick up another one over there rare mob heads let's see this sugar the guardian the bat heads two I oh man seriously bunch of zuma heads don't belong in there come on mob heads are they in here i am so sad now when supply is low just do it yourself i don't know if these guys are gonna die out here though oh i missed sorry i misplaced your head okay can i can i da ah. How long is it gonna? What is the percentage of me getting a snow golem head here? Batch number two, two. Hey, we got. We also got another one. I got three. We got four. We got plenty. Doobie doobie doobie. Let's throw some snowballs. Here we go. Here we go. Entering into the snow cave. Here, you've got the ice track over there that we talked about last episode. Right here, this is gonna be the snowball task now. So. How does all this work, you might be asking? That's a good question. There's a lot of lights and some target blocks and stuff. It's all kind of nonsense. This is probably going to be... That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there at all. This is probably going to be the most complicated uh, task for people to understand, but I think it'll be a fun one. So we've got our little happy snowman faces. There they are, looking great. The idea of the game now, okay? You're going to go over here and press this button right here. Doink, all right? And I think, like, right here, there's a drop. I'm probably going to have to move that, actually. But anyways... 
some snowballs are going to pop up on the floor. One, two, three. You get three snowballs will, snowballs will appear at your feet, okay? And then shortly thereafter, maybe like five seconds after, maybe three seconds, I don't know, uh, These the lights are going to start, come, like, lights are going to blink in order from left to right. So it's going to be like, bink, 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 bink. Bink, but minus minus the bink. There won't actually be sound effects, but that's the pacing of it. Light, 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 light. So basically, as those go across, what you want to do is light the three snowman lanterns, and you do that by throwing a snowball at the target block below the snowman just before the light above it lights up. So if you light up all three snowmen, the iron gate here will open up, and you can throw your book in the barrel, and your task is done. However, the catch is... If the lights make it off the end and you don't time it right and you don't like have the light fall down and light up the snowman, all the snowmen become unlit and you have to start over. And down here is the secret laboratory of future redstoneification. Kacha! More custom reds. I feel like that's all I'm doing on this project is just custom redstone to solve custom problems and it's fun. But man, does it take a lot of time. But we have got to put together some redstone to make all of this happen. And poof, poof, we have redstone, redstone everywhere, more redstone and stuff and everything. This is all pretty cool, actually. So it's basically working off of an item just flowing through a hopper. So dropper here spits an item that goes down this chain. That does the timing system that you'll see in a second. And if you press the, uh, or if you throw a snowball at the target block in time, it allows the, the, Unlock this hopper, boop, falls down inside there, which will then light up the lamp below it that's got the uh, the snow golem head on it. And then if you finish the task correctly with all three, or if you make a mistake, the uh, the items will go out here and they all funnel down out the system below and then there's more stuff and Redstone doing more stuff here. So now, if you think about it, we've just designed a mini game inside my mini game inside Minecraft. Whoa. Okay, let's try it out now. Let's see if I can actually light these snowmen up. I love their face. Okay, you press this button here. You get a snowball in inventory from the ground. I'm not even going to try and do anything here, but you'll see the lights go by. Boom. Now, if that light goes all, if that light, if, you know, if it goes all the way down the line and you don't uh, successfully light up a snowman, all the snowman will, uh, will unlight. So let's try that again. Get another snowball. Boom. Boom. Throw it. Okay, good. So I hit it right as it was about to light up. So instead, the light goes down instead of going over. So grab another snowball, and we'll try and do this one here. Okay, good. You got to do it a little bit earlier than you would think. Now, again, if it goes all off the end there, those would unlight, and I have to start over. Let's see if we can get this last one here now. This is the hardest one because it's a longer throw. Got it. And the door opens, and you put your thing in there, and the lights go off. For the next person now i will definitely say that this game would be a lot better with some sounds like if every time that light along the top went on it was a little like ding 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 or something like that that'd be great but we know we can't do that right because then it'd be like hey imposters guess who's playing the snowball game come kill me but without a doubt this is my new favorite mini game inside among us. Now, I'm sure at this point, there are many of you that are just like, enough, Tango, with the task. Just finish this game so we can see it played already. And you know what? You know what? I don't blame you. I want to be done with this 10 times more than you do. Trust me, it has gone on way longer than I expected, of course, right? So I think we are basically done with all the creative tasks at this point. I have a few more little tasks that need to be done here and there, but the big thing I have remaining left is a ton a ton of repetitive, monotonous redstone that I have to repeat all over for all the player death stations, the item pickups, the item drop-offs. There's going to be so many of them, and I have so much work to do. Oh, this is fantastic! We have a sheep area! Look at this! Izuma volunteered to do this, and he did a great job! Look at this with the with the hanging trees and everything. It's great. So you're going to come in here. There's three tasks in here. One of them is going to be to drop off a hay bale, and I'll take care of that right there. But the other two tasks are going to involve actually getting wool from live sheep. So I think he and I are going to team up and get some sheep in here. Uh, and I think, I'm looking around, I think his idea is that you make your own shears or something. I don't know. I might, I might have to change a few things. But I did not think he was going to do this. I did not think he was going to put the sheep in minecarts and ride them around here. So I'm guessing, like, the sheep are going to ride all around here. And you got to kind of get some shears and I give him a little drive-by choppy choppy to get the wool. I think this is brilliant. So 
I love it. I love it. We got a, a dead body reporting station over there. I'm probably going to move this one. I may move the vents. A little, little bit of modifications in here, but oh, this is this is so much better than I could have hoped for. Well, with the sheep pen done, we are very close to this, uh, this entire build being visually and cosmetically done. So I think what I'll do, like I said, I have like a ton of redstone left over still that I want to get to. And it's quite honestly, it doesn't make for very good video content. So I'm just going to have to... You know, put my head down and get that all done. And I think next episode we're going to do something a little bit more fun. And hopefully in whatever spare time I have, I can just really get, get to work and just bang out all the remaining redstone here. And we will be able to play this game soon. So with all that said and done, I think I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I want to thank you so much for all your patience. I know my videos have been far and few between lately. If you guys had any idea all the craziness that is going on in my life right now, most days I don't even get to sit down at my computer to work on Hermitcraft, and it's just, ugh, it's very frustrating. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait until the next video. See you guys later.